Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making a follow-up video to the video I made a little while ago about how to stop your wigs from tangling. So I had some questions on my Instagram about how to fix a wig that's already been pre-tangled and pre-destroyed, I guess you could say, and how to salvage that to get it to the stage where you can then treat it how I did in my previous video. So I was going through my wig box. I have like a good 30 or so wigs and I found a wig hidden right up the back that I'd forgotten about and it has gone to absolute crap. So I figured today I would show you how I will fix that wig because she very messy. All good. So what you will need is a wide tooth comb or a hairbrush that's got quite a few combs in it like quite a few like a wig brush style that you might see online I'll insert an image here I recommend not going with that so much I recommend don't do that I've tried that a few times it hasn't really worked out that well using one of these wide tooth combs with the little tiny it's called a wide tooth, but really the combs are so thin. Using one of these is good for getting out the knots. A uh, pair of scissors, sharp ones preferably, and a hair straightener. These are what I use, and then obviously a wig head. Or if you're doing clips like I was doing in my previous video, what you'll do is you'll clip the clip to a coat hanger and then hang that from like a shower curtain rack or something like that. Like hang it from somewhere so that you can slowly go down and do it. Today this wig has, is like an actual wig wig, not a clip, so I'm using a mannequin head. And yeah, I've just secured this to a table and it should be good. So, as you can see, this is the wig and she naughty there's some cardboard and bark in this as well like I don't remember what I did to this wig the last time I wore this was months ago and I don't remember us taking like not even months ago probably like a good year or so ago but yeah as you can see this is not fun this is not fun at all. So yeah, we will remove this and this kind of will ha be as a go to show all wigs are savable because this is looking real rank. This is real fluffy and gross and knotted. So if I can save this, then you can save basically any wig unless it gets like literal gunk in it but if it's a knotted wig I believe you can save it this way so to the time lapse okay first off I'm gonna show you what I guess is the not to do or what most people realistically will do when they try to brush out their wig and fix their wig so you'll brush through it and like think you got all the knots out but then when you look closely at the fibers they're all squiggly and tangled still like this one. Okay, so you want to put your hair straightener on to about 130 and uh, that's a safe temperature I've found for most of the wigs I own. Some of them need a little warmer, not very many need a little colder. But uh, if you're not sure if your wig can be straightened, find a small discreet part of the wig, typically just behind the neck is always a good spot. And just test a little bit of the fibers and check to make sure that they are safe to be put under a hair straightener. So as you can see, I started to brush out the wig and every single time I managed to get a decent amount of hair that was detangled. I would straighten it to smooth out the fibers and I kept doing that all the way till I got up to the top of that strand. And this is what the result looks like. It's surprisingly different and this is the reason why just doing a standard brush out of your wig is not how you detangle a wig because the fibers when you pull on them become springy like when you make like fancy ribbons for 
decorative boxes. So you need to re-straighten the fibers so that they want to go back to being straight like how they were when you bought the wig. And as you can see, I am taking the wig in small sections, slowly going around, and I have a, a paintbrush stabbed into the side of the mannequin head so that every single time I've completed a section, I can put it behind the area where the paintbrush is so that it's sectioned off. You can use a hair clip. I find when the hair's still warm though, a hair clip will leave like a little divot in the wig fibers so I tend to just let it cool a little bit in my hand and then put it behind the brush so at most it gets a very gentle wave and yeah you just gotta work through the wig at uh, a very slow pace uh, I ended up having about four hours worth of footage for this wig this wig took me four hours to detangle it was just a very slow night sitting there whittling away at it. As you saw, I had no makeup on. I looked kind of dead. It was just kind of one of those nights where it's like, I need to fix something. Let's fix a wig. But also, uh, I don't want to look impressive because it's probably like midnight when I was recording this. It's been too long ago to remember. But yeah, you're just gonna slowly go through the wig in sections and then eventually over time you will be done and you'll have a finished clean result for your wig and after that you'll want to go check out my other video which I will have linked up in the little cards and I'll also have it linked at the end of the video for what to do next what's the next step to protect your wig even more from detangling I have a video on how you use a uh, mane and tail to slowly go through the wig in a very similar fashion to make the fibers even less prone to tangling and it's amazing I've been doing it for the last I would say like year year and a half slowly going through all my wigs and redoing it and like doing it to them so that they don't tangle and uh yeah it's been amazing So now that the wig is done, here's the before and after. As you can see, it almost looks like a completely different wig now. So yeah, I definitely recommend if you have a knotted wig, even if it's only a little bit knotted or it's really, really stuffed up like my one was, to give this a try. So please leave a like down below if it was helpful to you. Bye!